In today's video, we are going to be building a simple AI chatbot that uses Vessel's AI SDK and Chakra UI. Vessel's AI SDK makes it easy to integrate AI models into your applications. It provides a way to work with various AI model providers like OpenAI, Anthropic, Google, and others. Vessel has different versions of their SDK and we are going to be using their version 5, which is the latest at the time of this recording. We'll go over installation, setting up the backend route and connecting it to OpenAI's GPT-4 model and also cover building out the front end using Chakra UI. So by the end of this video, you have a working chatbot that streams responses in real time, just like chat. Let's get started. So go over to your documentation page. This is the V5 documentation page. Hit get started. I'm going to be using the Next.js app router for the purpose of this demo. So let's go through the quick guide. We'll start by scaffolding a Next.js project. So I'm going to copy this command. And in my terminal, I'll run this. But I'm actually going to call the name of my project Vassel Chakra AI Demo. CD into the project we just created, Vassel Chakra AI Demo and start it up. The next thing we need to do is to install the required packages. So let's grab this command. We don't need Zod in this demo, so I'm just going to take out Zod and install the remaining. This SDK is in its beta version right now, so that's why you can see the beta tag attached to the libraries. So when it's in a more stable version, you can do away with this beta tag. With the installation done, the next thing you need is an OpenAI API key. So go over to OpenAI's platform if you don't have one and create an API key. I have my .env file that I've added already. So you can see right here, it has my OpenAI API key. Now that packages are installed and we have the API key added to our project, let's go over to building the backend route for our chatbot. What we need to do is inside the app directory, we need to create a Next.js route handler for the chat API. So I'm going to create an API directory inside of app and then a chat directory. So within this chat directory, we set up our routes.cs file. So routes.cs. So I'm going to go to the documentation right here. We already have the code that we need to paste into our route.cs file. So copy this code and go back to your file and paste it in. Now I'm going to break down this code, each part of the code, what is really going on here, so you can understand it. This OpenAI import um, gives us a convenient way to specify which OpenAI model that we need to use. You know, there are different models. We have the GPT-40, GPT-4.1, 4.1 mini, and so on. And we are using the GPT-40 model. We also imported two key functions from the AI core package. So we imported the stream text and the convert to model messages. So the stream text handles the streaming of the AI responses and the convert to model messages converts UI messages into model friendly messages that the LLM or the AI can understand. This UI message is imported for type safety in the request body, which is what you can see here. So on this line, we specify the maximum duration as 30. So streaming can take some time for large responses and next year's by default might time out sooner, right? So this line essentially makes sure that our streaming response is not cut off prematurely. And, you know, we are saying that we want to allow a maximum duration of 30 seconds. Now we're making a post request here. This post endpoint is to handle the incoming messages. So we're extracting a field called messages from the JSON body of the incoming request. So these messages are expected to be an array of UI message objects, which is what we imported here for type safety. Now I need to explain that each UI message includes things like who sent the message that is the row. It has what the message content is, which is called the path. It also contains UI specific metadata like timestamps and ID. And the truth is, LLMs don't need all of this information, right? They don't need all of this UI specific metadata. 
they need to understand all these messages in a form called model messages. So that is what we have here. That's the importance of this function which says convert to model messages. It helps to convert this UI messages format into model messages that our AI can now understand. So the stream text function takes the model, which is the OpenAI GPT-40 model. You can use any model that Vessel supports. It takes messages, which is in the format of model messages. So we are converting our UI messages to model messages. It also takes other things, which you can check out from the Vessel documentation. But for the purpose of this demo, we're going to stop here. Finally, we are returning a result dot to UI message stream response. And this helps us convert the model's response into a format that can now be streamed to the browser. So at this point, our backend is set and the front end will call this endpoint whenever it needs to get a response from the AI. So now let's go back to building the front end that will actually interact with this route. For the front end, we'll be using Chakra UI to create a simple chatbot. To install Chakra UI into your Next.js application, Go over to the Chakra UI documentation. We have a documentation for the Next.js app directory and the pages directory. So I've gone ahead to install my dependencies, my snippets, update my TS config. So let's set up the provider. So we're going to copy this and go over to the layout.cs file. I'm going to import provider at the top here. With this done, let's make some more updates. So I'm going to add in the suppress hydration warning prop to the HTML element so let's add this in we're also going to wrap provider around children since we're using chakra ui we will need all of this boilerplate css that comes with the next js project so let's take it out and also take out this we'll be removing our global css all our styles are going to come from Chakra UI. So let's take out the page the module the CSS file as well as the global CSS file. The final thing you need to do to properly set up Chakra UI is to add in this bundle that optimizes Next.js. So let's go into our Next.js config and add that bundle in. Now Chakra UI is properly set up in our project and we can begin to build our front end. Inside the pages, the TSX file, this is where we're going to set up our simple chatbot. So let's take out everything we have here and actually paste this in. This is the code that gets our chatbot working. And I'm going to explain what is going on step by step so you can understand exactly how we build this chatbot. I also have the GitHub repo in the description box. So feel free to check it out and reference it so that you can follow along. So the first thing we have here is the use client at the top of our file so what the use client does is just ensure that this component is a client component we're importing the use chat hook from the ai sdk slash react as well as some layout components from chakra ui we're importing the box which is essentially a div that you can pass styles as props to the button component h tag which stacks elements horizontally the inputs components the stack component as well as the, the text component. All of this is coming from Chakra UI slash React. And we're also importing the use state hook from React to handle the state of the input. And I should mention here that this use chat hook from the AI SDK no longer supports or manages input states internally. So right now you need to manage your input states manually. And this is why we have our use state hook. Inside our component, we are creating a slice of states that sets the state for the input using new states. We are also initializing the use chat hook. So this hook returns an object with properties that we are destructuring. So we have the messages property and the send message property. So the messages property is an array of message objects. And that means that it contains the total conversation, not just the message you sent now, but it helps the AI to have context like all the memory of all the conversations that you had is also being returned, right? You also have send message, which is essentially a function to send a new user message to the chat. So send message will trigger a call to our API route and handle all of the streaming responses. So let's go into the GSX to see what is really happening. 
So the GSX, as you can see, has two different sections wrapped in a box or a div. It has the first section, which is for the messages display, you know. It's that part that you see when you type a message and you receive a message from the AI as well. So the second section is for the input form. So we're going to go into each of them and see what's happening. For the first section, we are mapping over messages, which is what we destructured right here. So we're rendering a box that represents like a chat bubble or a message. So because we're mapping over, we're giving you a key of message.id. That's the unique key. So remember that we've already established that the message contains other things like who is sending it. That is the row. It contains the part. Right. So we're adding a style called align self and based on the message that rule, that is if it is the user or if it's the AI, if it's the user, we are laying out the message on flex end. And if it's the AI, it's going to be flexed out. Similarly, we're adding a background to the message and we're saying that if the user is sending the message, the background should be a blue dot 200. And if it is from the AI, the background should be a gray dot 200. The color is black. And we have all of these other styles, padding, border radius, maximum width, and box shadow. They just help to add a bit of visual experience to our messages. We are also looping over the message.parts. And we are saying that if the parts.type is text, right, we are rendering the part of text that is the essential content of that message. We are using a text component from Chakra UI to render the content that's that for the first part of our box so let's look at what is really going on per the form styling we are using an h stack component which is essentially a horizontal stack that lays out elements we are using the h stack component from chakra ui to lay out the input and the button so the input is bound to the input state with the value set to input and then on change we are setting the input to either current target the value and we have a button component from Chakra UI with a type of summit that sends the message. Now, in terms of the form, we are using box as form. So essentially, when we use the as props in Chakra UI like this, we are telling Chakra UI that render this box as a form element instead of a div. And this way, we have all the styling benefits of a box. So you can see all the styles that we've passed into our box. We've also attached an on submit handler to the form and inside this handler, we are sending a message using the send message property. And when a message is sent, we are setting the input to empty string. That is, we want to clear the input field. In terms of the other styles, the position is fixed because we want the form to stick to the bottom of our page. We give it a background color of white, a border top of one pixel solid and a border color of gray dot 100. So all of these colors come by default in Chakra UI. Awesome. So our front end is all set. So let's go ahead to run the application and see it in action. So let's start up our dev server. This is exactly how the UI of the chat bot looks like. You'll notice that it has the input field and the send button. So let's prompt it. Type something like, hello, how are you? So let's send this in to our chat box and see what comes out of it. Hello, I'm here to, I'm ready to help. How can I assist you today? So let's ask it another interesting question that we expect chat GPT to know. So how many continents are in the world? There are seven continents in the world, perfect. We can see how we're getting instant immediate response. Let's also ask it, I'm curious, let me ask it, who is Esther? A day bio. Let's see where it comes up. Oops, I'm sorry, I don't have any specific information on Esther Adi bio. Could you provide more? Content? Oops, Chat GPT doesn't know me, but that's okay, that's fine. All right, let's do a more detailed question. So let's ask it a bit more. Explain in detail what is a design system. But now you notice that for this more detailed answer, it gives you the answer yes but then everything is in plain text you can see a heading but it's not coming out as a heading it's coming out as a plain text you can see some bold font you can see some bullet points everything is coming out as plain text this is not typically the kind of results that you get when you're interacting with the tool like chat so how can we fix that 
We will fix this in two quick steps. So the first thing is to install React Markdown in our project. So the React Markdown library helps us to render Markdown content as proper HTML inside our application. So let's go back and inside our application, let's go create a new terminal right here. Let's install React Markdown, pmpm install React Markdown. The second thing to do is to install Chakra UI's pros component. So Chakra UI has a component called pros. Just going to open it right here so you can see. This pros component helps to present the Markdown style in a clean and readable manner. So pros is not available in Chakra UI by default. It's a component snippet that you need to add to your project. Let's grab this and go over to add it to our project. Amazing, so Pros and React Markdown have been added to our project. So let's go ahead to add them to our application. So as usual, the first thing we need to do is to import Pros from at component slash UI slash Pros. That is coming from the installation that we made. And we also need to import Markdown from React Markdown. So let's go over to where we have our text component that is rendering the messages. So instead of text, we need to then use the pros and the markdown. So we're going to wrap the contents with pros. Obviously, pros doesn't take a font size. And we're also going to wrap markdown around the text. So let's use the markdown that we imported at the top. This way, we've set up our content in such a way that the Markdown form AI will now be properly styled. So let's go back to our chatbot and ask it the same question. Explain in detail what is a design system. Awesome. So can you see the difference? Right now, everything looks good. We have the proper headings. We have the numbers. We have the bullet points. Everything looks really good. It's a lot easier to read right now, thanks to React Markdown and Chakra UI Pose Component. Amazing, you've just built a simple AI chatbot with the Vessels SDK and Chakra UI. There's a whole lot more that you can do. For example, you can switch to a different model provider or a different model. You can add system prompts to this. You can even add tools, for example, a redder tool to this SDK and of course you can make the UI more robust using Chakra UI. So if you enjoyed this video feel free to drop a comment, like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Till next time I'll see you in another one. Bye! Yeah.